This is Dr. David Johnson with a video on photodynamic therapy and how it kills skin cancer cells. It's used by dermatologists to kill actinic keratosis and squamous cell carcinomas, non-melanoma skin cancers. It is intimately related with heme synthesis. Heme synthesis can result in a disease called a porphyria that is thought to be related to why we think there were vampires. And I'm going to talk about the biochemistry of that since I'm a biochemist at Quillen College of Medicine, East Tennessee State University. Heme synthesis starts out with glycine and succinyl-CoA and then goes on to form ALA. ALA is aminolevulinic acid, and, it, and that goes then to make uroporphyrinogen-3. Uroporphyrinogen-3 is eventually converted into protoporphyrin-9. Protoporphyrin-9 then binds iron to make heme. And its heme is needed by the cytochromes because they make all our ATP for energy in the body. They also help us metabolize the drugs that we take. It also is the, an essential component of hemoglobin. It's needed to carry oxygen to all our body, from our lungs to the rest of our body for metabolism and to keep us alive. And here is heme. Once iron Fe2 binds in it, you have heme. Now, some individuals ha cannot convert uroporphyrinogen 3 into protoporphyrin 9, and they have a disease called porphyria cutanea tarda, and their skin blisters when they go out in the sun. And so they were thought to be vampires, the idea that they might be Dracula, but they're not. They're just sick people. And if you want to know more about porphyrias, you should look up the American Porphyria Foundation. Now, the term porphyria comes from the Greek from, for purple, porphyra. And because these, if you set these people's uh, urine out in the sunlight, it will turn purple. So that uroporphyrinogen 3 has a structure very similar to protoporphyrin 9. And when the sunlight hits it, it kills uh, some of the skin, skin cells in these people that have this buildup in their skin. It also turns their teeth red and they glow in, in UV light. And the picture of the teeth came from Dr. Ed Friedlander, who used to teach pathology at Quillen. Now, you can shine blue light uh, on these individuals or on protoporphyrin 9, and it will re results in reactive oxygen species. We call these singlet oxygens. You get a lot of these for every protoporphyrin 9 that you have. Those cause lipid peroxidation. Our cells are membranes on the outside hold our cells together are lipids, lipid bilayer. And DNA damage also occurs. So once these oxygens start wreaking havoc inside the cell, the cell dies. And so we wind up with getting rid of the cancerous cells preferentially. And we'll see why that is. Here is normal cells in pink and cancer cells in a brown. And ALA is painted onto the skin by the dermatologist and then it gets accumulated into the uh, cells. The, the cancer cells take it up even better than the normal skin cells. So when they get hit with, so they build up more pro protoporphyrin 9 inside the cell. And then when they get hit with a blue light, it kills those cells and then the cells die. And then we are, have less skin cell cancers and our skin looks a lot better. There's another compound called MLA, which is the methyl ester of ALA. It is more hydrophobic since it's not a charged molecule, and it's absorbed into the cancer cells even better, and more of it's taken up. However, it makes a slightly modified protoporphyrin 9, which absorbs red light rather than blue light, and so red light is used to kill those kill it when MLA is used. Future developments. Uh, this group has found that protoporphyrin 9 builds up in dormant cancer cells. They, uh, photodynamic therapy often has to be repeated because cancer latency and cancers in different stages of growth. So they found that dormant cancer cells have an increased uptake of ALA. They have a decreased export of protoporphyrin 9, so they build up more of that. And they also found that you can use methotrexate and cyclohexamine to make the cells more dormant, to increase the number of dormant cancer cells. And therefore, the cyclohexamide and or methotrexate, 
then treating with ALA and photodynamic therapy resulted in about a fourfold increase in cancer cell killing. So th this has not been done in humans yet or animals. It has only been done in petri dishes with cultured cancer cells. Uh, so it'll eventually be tested and hopefully it will prove to be an improvement. Heme synthesis and knowledge led to photodynamic therapy. So uroporphyrinogen-3 has this structure up here at the top, right above the cut porphyria cutanea tarda, and it see it's very similar to protoporphyrin-9. And so it absorbed blue light as well and caused the death of skin cells, just like protoporphyrin-9 does when you shine blue light on it so you can kill skin skin cancer cells with it. So the knowing the biochemistry was critical to understanding how to make this work. Here's a picture of me with Ivan the Terrible at a street party for the night at the Museum 2 premiere. It was pride that changed angels into devils. It is humility that makes men as angels. A nice quote from St. Augustine. Good luck.